I'm going to try out this new mode on YouTube. And while I'm at it, I'm going to read a really awesome passage in Revelation. This is time of year, people talking about ghosts and a lot of other things. Well, I'm calling out what they really are. They're demonic. So anyway, I'm going to read this passage. This kind of tells you what it says in Revelation. It's in Revelation chapter 12. Verse 7 through 17. Anyway, it says, Satan thrown down to earth. And then I'm going to try out that new mode. Just kind of having a little craziness in this life. It said, I'm going to start reading. It says, Now war arose in heaven. Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven, and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil, Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ has come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. That's not very nice. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. It's more like, therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Okay. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath. Wrath. We'll see how that looks on there. Because he knows that his time is short. Yay, I'm really glad his time is short. And then the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to, to on the earth and he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle so that she might fly from the serpent into the wilderness to the place where she is to be nourished for a time and time and a half. The serpent poured water like a river out of his mouth Blah. after the woman to sweep her away with a flood. Hmm, that's a little bit interesting right now since we're getting a lot of rain and there's a lot of flooding around here. Just kind of puts it in perspective. But the earth came to the help of the woman and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the river awesome that the dragon had poured from his mouth then the dragon became furious with the woman and went off to make war with the rest of her offspring on those who keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus and he stood on the sand of the sea Wow well, very interesting, people. It'd be worth it to read the Bible, see what all this stuff is about. The time of year, people talking ghost stories and stuff like that. Demonic. It's all demonic. Anyway, so just wanted to see how this, this goes. Love you all. And have a really good day. And don't be inviting that evil into your lives.
Bye.